most dang positive things in the world whenever you find a way to twist it to make it make you a better person. No's make you stronger. And I don't just mean mentally. So many times people go, okay, yes, Dave, I get what you're talking about. I know they make me stronger. I know that I'm going to be a better salesperson. I know I'm gonna get past all those no's and find all the yeses. Yes, and that will all happen. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying why not play a little bit of a game so that you can get away from how much rejection hurts you mentally and go at it a little bit physically. This happened uh, a couple years ago in San Francisco, California, whenever I was living out there. We were selling, just selling all sorts of different companies. And I got this idea. I got a pull-up bar that sits on my door. And every single time someone told me no, obviously I was making phone calls. Every single time someone told me no, I'd do 10 pull-ups. And I got to the point to where it was pretty awesome. I'd be getting, you know, depending on how many no's I got in a day, I'd be getting, you know, 60, 70, 80, 110 sometimes in a day. And it created so much positive energy. It's almost like I would get off the phone looking forward after I got a no, cool, I get a chance to work out. It took a bunch of things. Top, top producers live by one strong principle. They, principle. they try to t kill two birds with one stone. I see that constantly. You get a chance to get your workout in. You get a chance to get some endorphins going around a negative thing in sales, which is a no. And you also get a chance to play a game. They get something you can actually look forward to. Working out, you become a mental giant whenever you are doing this. You also become a giant physically whenever you are doing it too. And it could be anything, y'all. It doesn't have to be pull-ups. You know, it can be push-ups, it can be sit-ups. I have clients that have done all sorts of dips they do on their desk, whatever. Whatever piece of your body that you wanna work on, that you wanna put into this game, go at it. Literally, make no's make you physically stronger, along with mentally too. And it's, um, it's a good workout. You know, whenever you work out, it's a great thing. No matter how you do it, I'm just to kind of recap a couple things here. Getting that energy going, you, 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 it's activity too. It's little spurts of activity that break up your day. Because, I mean, think about the energy that comes from that. You create endorphins every single time you get your blood flowing. And I can tell you, there's been so many times where I have gotten back to the phone and I have been so energized, so excited about talking to them, also a little out of breath. And it's fun to tell that prospect exactly what you were doing. Oh, I just got my last person I spoke with, I got a no. So I had to get my 10 pull-ups in. Weak is he who permits his thoughts to control his actions. Strong is he who forces his actions to control his thoughts. That is one of my favorite quotes of all time. And something that I figured out to make a no a good thing was to force my actions to control my thinking. And every single time you use this principles of no, this principle of no's making you stronger, that tends to happen. You're also winning a game. Every time you get a no, it creates a positive day. And top producers, they're always trying to find a way to make prospecting, to make selling, to make their careers fun.